So I feel like we're at a very critical historical point to make a difference. We're trying to do the same thing, uh, which is really to improve people's lives. And we as a field are the front of this, the face of this. The role and responsibility of the occupational safety and health professional is to protect workers from risk of injury and harm through surveillance, health promotion, and prevention. One area of increasing concern where this is desperately needed is for workers in non-standard or precarious work. The University of Illinois Chicago Division of Environmental and Occupational Health Sciences is actively advancing research in this area where students and community partners work closely with populations whose health and well-being are often neglected. Nestled inside a diverse city with distinct needs, the professionals at UIC and the students they're training are surrounded by daily examples of the importance of their work. So we really are sitting in a very um, unique position in terms of being able to give our students a broad exposure to the field of industrial hygiene and occupational safety. UIC's diverse student body gains experience through collaboration with community groups to impact workers' lives in the city's sprawling industrial landscape. For students, you know, this is the opportunity to step up if you want to make a difference. Through bridging research and practice in the environmental and occupational hygiene field, UIC aims to improve the health of workers in the community. We're the ones that actually look at those workers, evaluate are they safe, how to keep them safe, and then we generate data for policy that then either OSHA or NIOSH or local health agencies can use that can make sure that workers stay safe. There's no shortage of challenges. Working with community partners, the focus is on the safety and well-being of workers in minority and historically underserved populations. Our unique position, our location where we are, um, makes it very uh, important for us to uh, play an important role in advocating for those communities. And looking at how work is central to their health and the health of the community and the role of precarious work. The concern for worker safety increases as the number of precarious employment situations rise. But it could be as high as 40% of people have at least one job that's in a, you know, fits into a high hazard or high uncertainty job um, that we think of as being a precarious job. It has not gotten better. It has is, it is, uh, shifted and grown in different sectors. Jose Oliva has experienced precarious employment and understands worker struggles. But how, uh, especially precarious workers, right, people who are sort of on the margins of, um, of our economy, uh, how they're treated. Um, and that made me um, feel like we needed to do something. We couldn't just let that be what it was. He helped create a multiracial coalition of more than 50 nationwide organizations and partners with UIC to effect change. So with our lived experience and with the data that UIC can provide, we can go to decision makers and say, this particular policy needs to change or this particular policy needs to pass so that it can make people's lives better. The Center for Healthy Work and Great Lakes Center for Occupational Health and Safety advance the health and well-being of workers, community partnerships. And uh, UIC has been critical, pivotal, really, in, in uh, helping us measure that impact. The other project within the Center for Healthy Work is um, this organizational level um, interventions um, where they had a healthy work collaborative. So it was a shared learning community of practice and they have since funded about eight different projects to move forward in terms of implementing change at their organizations. Because at the end of the day, workforce health is population health. And if you don't have a healthy workforce, I mean, your population is unhealthy. Students play a critical role in research. I've been made to feel like an investigator, to be honest. I mean, I'd, I'd say I'd feel quite calm and relaxed in future projects because I've been exposed to so much. Like many students here, Hamed Hamza says industrial hygiene and occupational health was his calling. 
because in public health we do have a problem and it's called public health equity and that is when people who are at a disadvantage need people to number one speak up for their rights and number two take action. A call to action heard campus-wide and echoed throughout the profession. The thing I love most about the work that we do in occupational health and safety is that it's a great combination of science, kind of nerdy science, and you can use that to really directly affect the health of people who need it most. As the workplace diversifies, a broader, more representative set of practitioners in the field is required. And so to be in a position to sort of improve that and to recruit diverse students um, who are going to then go on and work in workplaces or for businesses with a diverse workforce, I think is really important and really critical. And I think that's true across public health. And it really boils down to the essence of the work uh, of, the, of the job, and it's that industrial hygienists are the only people who are really looking after workers' protection and workers' rights, and we all have to work to make a living, and we all spend at least eight hours, you know, at our jobs, and so the likelihood that we will need this profession is incredibly high. There's no better time than now for, for me as an occupational health and safety professional to make an impact, because there's this, this larger mission and vision for me where I believe that every worker has the right to a safe and healthy workplace.